57 total yards through three quarters. Can you yeah. talk about your, your defensive effort that uh, allowed, uh, contributed to that pulling away? Yeah, it was, uh, it was really uh, an epic defensive performance, uh, you know, and we got a little thin toward the end of the game, but uh, it was it's great, great, great job, great performance. And this is a uh, Maryland team has a, has a very potent running game. See what they did to Texas. And, uh, we'd seen it on tape. That a lot of misdirection, a lot of uh, eye distraction, and and, and ability to to uh, open up seams. A lot of long runs, uh, and we didn't we didn't give those up today. Uh, thought we played them as well as anybody who's faced them. Alex or Jason, um, coach, just talk about the performance of True Wilson these last few weeks, uh, what do you think? Good, um, still, you know, still, <clears throat> he's, he's getting better and better, and, uh, you know, he's, he's a trusted agent now. Uh, so, nobody, uh, he goes into the game and, and has the ability to make something, make plays, and he did that again today. Uh, made plays in the pass protection, made plays on, in the running game, and, um, you know, just really happy you know, about True and, and what he's brought to the Ball club. Over yeah. on your right. Coach, you mentioned uh, you mentioned Jeffrey earlier, career high in catches and yards today for him. How have you seen him grow most at this point where he's sort of emerging as a go to guy? Uh, the way he's grown most is you know, probably putting on 40 pounds of muscle. Um, he's grown so much as a blocker. He, uh, he's, he's grown as a hands catcher. He's, he's uh, He's able to pluck the ball out of the air with the hands. And he's got a great frame and a target, a great uh, catch radius, but also makes the uh, you know the tight body throw catch and contested catch. Um, the guys, guys on him, draped on him, and uh, and uh, those are tough catches to make. His, and uh, so I mean that's, that's a lot right there. You know he's. He's really worked hard uh, in strength development. He's, uh, he's done a great job as a blocker and, uh, and catching and running routes. I mean, everything you want a tight end to be, he's, he's uh, you know, really growing into a prototypical type of tight end. And he's got about the best attitude you ever want uh, you know, to be around a, a guy. Um, you know, Joey Files is there. Gentry would be like right. Almost as good as Joe Files. Um, yeah. Back left, Dan. After watching uh, Mason's hurdle in the first quarter, you have the most athletic fullback in the country. <laughs> uh, I've seen all the fullback, but you know we love our fullback. Given um, your your mentors and the, the way you like to play, do you get a little extra joy out of watching a fullback make plays and have a couple score touchdowns in the game? Yeah, we all do. Um, we do, and uh, as you can see, his his his, uh, his package is expanding. I mean, it's uh, you know, it's as a running back, he is uh, he's about to where he's getting. He's doing about everything, you know, um, in practice and in games. So, including pass protection and you know, the uh, just him just be him being a tailback today brought on a brought on a six two defense brought on a. Brought on an extra defensive lineman, and we were able to to um, fake to him and run a um, run a boot, get out of the pocket. That you know, that's already helped as a um, you know, as, as he's got the ability to do a lot, uh, catch the ball out of the backfield, block, uh, run. You know, it's, it's, a, it's an expanding package for Ben. Back in cameras. Uh, Crown said he was very happy last year's that 2,000 mark today. What can you say about him, not only today but this whole season so far? Well, he's just uh, he's just getting the extra yards. Um, you know, he's he, he's broke he's broken some big runs in his career, um, and he has this year. And just the strength, I think he's developed in this off season. Um, and the determination that he has uh, to help our team and 
shows up in those those carries where it looks like it's going to be a minus one or a no gain or and he turns it into a four yard gain or a one yard gain to a six yard gain just you know good backs if it's blocked for you know zero they get two you know if it's blocked for two they get five um, he's really showing that right now and uh, connection is, is improved immensely um, so it's important to him he's, he's done a He's done a terrific job training and uh, preparing himself for the season. On the left, Angelique. Jim, you mentioned the thinning defensive line. Can you update the status of Michael Blumford? And Carlo went off limping, and, and also Rashawn not playing, and, and when do you think Aubrey might be back? Yeah. Um, so Michael, uh, we'll see, still evaluating you know, what he has. Um, and uh, Carlo, same, uh, still evaluating. Uh, Rashad, uh, I didn't really. I, I thought he needed. Uh, I decided not to play him this week, uh, but he's he's uh, most likely. You know, we'll see where he where he's at as as the week goes on. But uh, that's not a it's not a long term thing. Um, Aubrey, uh, we'll see. He had a good week last week and. And uh, see how close he is this week. And Chris Evans too. I mean, he warmed up and then was in sweet clothes. Yeah, Chris practiced uh, uh, two days this week, and and then uh, ultimately uh, thought it best not to, to suit him up and play him today. So hopefully we get some guys back so Rashawn, next week. Could have could have played today, you think, or that was precautionary in your opinion? Yeah, Rashad is. Uh, you know, he's he's uh, he's had an AC. Bit of an AC that uh, uh, you know he's been playing through. Uh, so, uh, but I thought wise to not play this week. Got time for a couple more questions in the front, Chris. Coach, the kick return was one of the only negatives. Can you talk about what you saw on that play? Just bad fits. Yeah, that's what it looked like on the on the field. Um, John. This didn't impact the game, but can you actually decline a, uh, a targeting personal foul? It looked like they were giving Higdon's run less 10 yards, and yeah. then when they threw that on, it came all the way back beyond the 40 and ran the play over. Yeah, that's exactly what happened. We uh, they, they said it was two offsetting penalties, and it has to go, go back to the previous previous spot. But no question, that's my comment, that the you know, targeting penalty – was uh, was something that their targeting penalty against us hurt us in the in the in the way football rules are. Did they get that rule right? As far as I know, I mean, it sounded right. I mean, offsetting penalties. You know, uh, I didn't know. I mean, I don't know it. Offsetting penalties. You know, you you, you repeat the previous spot, but yeah, it does. Yeah, it is a little bit, I guess. Uh, you, John Bacon said that, not me. I did, I did, I did, I did not, it was John Bacon making that comment. And I stand by it, too. All right, anything Good. else? Thanks. Thanks. All right, thanks. Thanks, thanks.